Hello folks, so once again I am here. So this is also a paper 5 question which uh, I gave in some uh, exams and uh, whose uh, solutions uh, uh, my students demanded so much of me that uh, <coughs> I'm trying it. So this belongs to uh, 2010 October November paper 5-3 and the question number is 2. So it is concerned with uh, uh, the work of a capacitor as well as power source. It says a student is investigating how the discharge of a capacitor through a resistor depends on the resistance of the resistor. Discharge depending on resistor. So it is like this. The student changes changes the uh, charges the capacitance of uh, capacitor capacitance C here and then discharges it through a resistor of resistance R. After 15.0 seconds, so time equal to 15.0 seconds, the student records the potential difference V across the capacitor, V here, by using voltmeter. The student repeats this procedure for different values of R. So first he charges, then discharges, and while doing so, he changes the value of R, and he measures the PD after every, after 15 seconds. So now, the main issue is over uh, here. So it is suggested that uh, V and R, so V, uh, v uh, differs according to R. So it is suggested that V and R are related by the equation V equal to V naught, the exponential power minus T by CR, T is the time. V naught is the initial potential difference, which will be maximum also, after, immediately after being fully charged. And T is the time over which the capacitor has discharged. So a graph is plotted uh, of uh, log V, this is ln V here, ln V, on the y-axis against 1 by R on the x-axis. So explain the Gradient. So in this case, we have to take log of this thing. So log V equal to log of this whole thing. So according to the rules of log, uh, it will separate. So log V naught plus uh, log e to, power, e to power minus T by CR. So uh, when we have got log E, this uh, thing, this comes comes to the coefficient. So it will be like this. So ln E is 1 plus this. And I separate this 1 by R, which gives uh, minus T by C as the gradient. So gradient equal to minus t by c. Now, uh, we are given, so values of r and, and uh, v for t equal to 15 seconds are given in figure 5 2. So, r given here, v given here. Now, we have to do it like this. Calculate and record values of 1 by r. So, we have to calculate and record the values of 1 by r in terms of 10 to the power minus 6 per ohm, 1 by r, and ln v, ln v and log something will not have unit. So this V is in terms of voltage, but a log something will not have unit, so it has got no unit here. Uh, include the absolute uncertainty in L and V as well. So first uh, let us go for 1 by R. So 1 by R has been uh, calculated in this way, in this way. So what do we have is, uh, it has to be expressed in terms of 10 to the power uh, minus 6 uh, per ohm. So what I first do is, so in this case, I have got 6.67 kilo ohm. So it is a 6.67 exponent 3 kilo equal to. So I have to do 1 by R. So this is 1 by R equal to. And this thing has to be expressed in terms of 10 to the power minus 6. So divided 1 exponent minus 6. So the quantity is this much, which is 149.925 something into 10 to the power minus 6. So, uh, I have to write, uh, I have to write uh, this thing in 10 to the power minus 6. Now, the quantity in which uh, uh, error is not given in such quantities, it is the graph that, uh, uh, that determines uh, determine the digits that we write. So, it will be the graph that determines the digit that we write. So, for that, I, I will take out this uh, graph paper. I'll take out this graph paper. So, let me do it like this. Uh, I have to be very careful here, very careful. So I've take a, taken out this graph paper, so I'll fix it here into its original position. So I think it is not much uh, divided yet. So I have the graph paper like this. So this is the graph paper. Now here, what we have is, so from, uh, from 20 to 40, 20 to 40, it is uh, 20 uh, divisions, 20 divisions. So we have got to, uh, 20 divisions is equal to, 20 divisions is equal to, uh, sorry, 10 divisions actually, division is equal to, it is a 20, so 1 division is equal to, it is a 2. 
So that means I have got from 20, it is 22, 24, and so on. So I can go to the symbol. So what I should do is I have to round it up. I have to round it up somewhat like this. I can't go to decimal so that means the rounding should be should be exactly here so I have to round it all of these things here so this is 9 here it promotes it so it is 150 so the first thing should be 150 in the second case I have this is 10 so 10 10 1000 uh, 1000 reciprocal equal to so we have to express this in terms of 10 to the power minus 6 so divided 1 exponent minus 6 equal to 100 so i have to write uh, one itself because uh, i can write till the decimal so here it is decimal so i, have to, I can write uh, up to the quantity before the decimal so let's go for 15 as well so 15000 reciprocal equal to so i uh, divided one exponent minus six equal to so it is somewhat like this so i have to write up to this thing here I cannot write uh, after the decimal so I have to round it off all over here so it is 67 so in a similar manner I can do other things as well now in terms of log b so what we have is the error in a log is given by and v is given by so as we know as you know that uh, delta in ln uh, v should be equal to ln v plus delta v minus ln v so this is the value of error or uncertainty so let's calculate here so ln v is this delta v is this so what we have is first i have to do this 3.6 plus plus 0 0.3.8 so 3.8 ln sorry sorry so ln 3.8 minus 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 ln v which is ln 3.6 minus uh, ln 3.6 equal to so the quantity becomes 0 0.054 and so on so I can write uh, uncertainty only till uh, 2 SF so that's why this is the first SF second SF so it should be 0 0.054 54 which is there similarly in the second one I have so let me change this here so it is 5.0 plus 0 0.2 is 5.2 so it should be 5.2 5.2 then 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 here it is ln something is just 5.0 so it should be 5.0 so this comes to be equal to equal to 0 0.03922 so i can write only up to first sf second sf so i can write only up to 0 0.039 so in a similar way i can write other quantities so this uh, fills up the table fills up the table now what it says is uh, plot a graph of ln v against one by r include error bars so i have to plot the graph so i have given i have plotted the graph here graph here not much difficulty and uh, for error bar what i do is let me do it like this so in case of error bar what we have is from here to here it is uh, 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 means 10 divisions so 1 means 10 by 0 0.1 which is 100 divisions now now for this case i have got the error is equal to error is equal to equal to equal to equal to 0 0.054 so when this thing is multiplied to this thing it will be 5.4 5.4 so i have this thing 5.4 up 5.4 down so what i've done is so from here 1 2 3 4 5 so it is slightly less than 5.5 it also slightly less than 5.5 so this is 5.4 divisions up and down and here it is uh, uh, it's a 3.9 almost 4 and so on and so on so these are the error bars then I drew the uh, best and worst fit lines best fit line was not a problem but in case of worst fit line I tried uh, to connect with the lowest point of this thing lowest middle point of this thing to the highest middle point of this thing and everything went uh, uh, particularly well pretty well so then I drew a triangle to find the slope so I have written the coordinates here so the coordinate here is 140x axis y axis 1.3 and in this case i have got uh, index axis it is 140 142 144 146 146 and then 1.3 similarly i have got coordinates over there also so from there i calculated the uh, i calculated the 
uh, gradient here right? so everything went fine so since it has got a negative slope it is bound to have a, a negative value so I got an error like this like this so I have to uh, express the error in uh, in 2SF so that's why so 1 2 I have to round everything up here so this thing also go here so 540 and once it is 540 uh, I can write only up to here and I have to round it off here so since it is 0 0 not positive difference so it is 7000 so minus 7000 plus minus 540 now the next step is next step is step is determining uh, things of the last page so it says that uh, it says that it says that uh, one thing that we have to remember here is uh, in the in the x-axis in the x-axis I have something extra also it is 10 to the power minus 6 so I have to use 10 to the power minus 6 in the in the denominator and from here it comes here so if you forget this thing the answer will be pretty much uh, random answers while answers actually so you should always remember what uh, 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 sub, sub, uh, suffixes we have got here so one may are in terms of 10 to the power minus 6 so I have to use it so here it's nothing there so I don't need to use it now in the last page I have got so first using your answers to C3 answers to this C3 uh, determine the value of C of C so for that I need the first page uh, sorry this page actually it says that gradient equal to minus t by c so gradient equal to minus t by c c equal to minus t by gradient and gradient is minus 7000 so it comes to be like this and uh, since uh, we know that c is the capacitance capacitance so it, it comes from here it comes from here it says that uh, capacitor of uh, capacitance c so i i must use the unit for art so capacitance means for art so if you know some other units also you can use them uh, for example uh, for example, when we have got capacitance is equal to charge per unit voltage. So for charge is coulomb and for volt is voltage minus one. So you can even use this. And you can also uh, go for the same uh, in terms of the graph itself. So unit of uh, unit of this thing is unit of time by unit of slope. Unit of time is second, but in case of slope, it will be equal to this by this. So it is ohm. So uh, we have got uh, second here, second here. And it uh, we have got to uh, ohm minus one as well, so it goes up and becomes ohm, so, so something like that. So you can try any uh, combinations you like, but uh, the 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 difference is that if you know that uh, uh, C is the capacitance, then that will be the best answer. So I have to find the positive uncertainty. So the formula is over here. So delta T by T it is zero because uh, there is no error given in the time. They have simply said that. Uh, said that uh, it is 0.0 but uh, in some cases some student might use uh, the uncertainty as a 0.1 second but uh, I would not use it because uh, there's nothing said here said it here so I didn't use uncertainty over there so it's simply uncertainty of, uh, of uh, the uh, gradient I use full values here full value, full value it came like this so since I must use uh, 2SF I have to round it off here I cannot use this and this so it becomes 8 so 8.8 then last question determine the value of r for which the capacitor will discharge to 10 percent of its original potential difference in 15 seconds so you have to find the value of r to make it discharge to 10 percent so v equal to 10 percent of v naught equal this much v naught v naught gone is 0 0.1 so this ln 0 0.1 is a minus something so it cancel out r equal to this much then i have to find the uncertainty so delta r, by r is equal to so delta r by r is equal to delta uh, m by m it comes from here but this is constant this is constant so delta r by r equal to m by m or delta r equal like this so delta m by m is uh, comes from here so this is uh, delta m by m into 100 so i simply change that into delta m by m only which is 0 0.077 0 point so 0, 0 0.0 let me rub it here let me rub it so 0 point, 0 point, 0 point, 0 point, 0 point. So 0 point 0, 0, 7, 7, 6, 9 into some something. So into uh, 3, 0, 4, 0, point 0, 6 equal to, it becomes uh, 236. So I just uh, I used the wrong symbol here, uh, wrong thing here, but the answer is same like this. 
So when I write it in 2SF, it will be equal to 240 because first SF, second SF, I have to round it all of these things here. So it's 240. And once it's 240, the error starts from the uh, this digit here, ones place, ten place, hundreds place. So I can write uh, this quantity. This quantity is uh, uh, this thing here, only up to here, only up to here. So we have to round it off all those things here. So it is three zero. So this also becomes zero zero and so on, and two forty. So this is the correct way of representing the answer. So this completes uh, uh, the the P five of this session.